What's going on guys? Real Thoughts Gmail here back with another game maker tutorial and today we will be continuing our golden Minecraft series here. Uh, and today we are going to be focusing on the rendering system of our actual game. So as you can see, if I go ahead and play the game now, uh, as you can see, the world is not big at all. Here, yeah, let me just go ahead and show you. And there it is. It ends right there. Uh, obviously, this would get very boring in an actual game. So what I am going to teach you how to do is actually you're going to get the the same uh, fluency as you have right now, except in a world that is you know the width of sixteen billion quadrillion. Uh, let's not go that far, but uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, so what we're going to do here is we're going to create a script. Okay, and if you don't know what scripts are, they're just basically uh, it's just code that you can call in any object. So I'm going to call it SCR render. All right, and what I'm going to do here is, or what we we are going to do is, we are going to disable every object in the room or in the game here. So disabling makes it so that it's non-existent. Really, uh, it really it doesn't have any effect on the. Uh, fluency of the game so yeah it just disables them uh, so we can do that by saying instance deactivate activate object obj dirt right and copy this and paste it down and we're going to say obj stone as well so obj stone Okay, now if you went ahead and we're going to go into the controller here and in the step event, we're going to call this script. So script execute scr render. Right, so if we go ahead and play it now, as you can see, there's no blocks at all. It is completely 100% gone. Uh, and that is because we deactivated them. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we are going to reactivate those objects uh, only if they are in our current view. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the render script here. And we are going to say instance activate region. Right, and you have uh, parameters here, left, top, width, height, and inside. So we're going to say view uh, underscore x view. And we are going to put zero in for view zero. View underscore y view. Again, view zero. View underscore w view, which is our width. And view underscore y view, which is our height. Or I'm sorry, h view, which will be our height. And we are going to say true for the inside. All right, now if we played it, We get um, we get the blocks back, and uh, as you can see on the right, it actually renders it. You can actually kind of see that for yourself that it's rendering it uh, right outside our view. So what we can do now is actually expand the world. So I'm gonna go into the room here, and in settings, I'm gonna say uh, sixteen thousand. There we go. Look at that. That's a big room. <laughs> so in our dirt here. In the create event, we're actually going to set spawn to global. And in alarm zero, global. And in the step, global. Right? And what we want to do here is in the controller, in our for loop here, we are going to create, and eh, we can create 2,000 of them, right? And in the step event, what we're going to say, if global.spawn equals equals false then we are going to execute the render script so if we played it now uh, it would build the world fast actually hang on I forgot one thing here uh, in our dirt in the create event oh wait no we got that we got that alright so here it is we're gonna let it build so right now it's building blocks for the entire world uh, now, what you can do here is put up a menu screen of loading or something like that. 
uh, and once it's all loaded in then uh, the render script activates and you have a huge world to explore in uh, so go and leave a like go and subscribe uh, let me know if you have any suggestions for next tutorial uh, probably going to put in a lighting system uh, now not a game maker lighting system a lighting system that I have thought of my myself here so go and leave a like go and subscribe and I will see you guys next time this thing just keeps going on alright peace